Hello, this is Glenn from Simability, and I'm going to talk today about our F1 paddles that we make for the Ferrari F1 wheel for the Thrustmaster base. Uh, it's designed to be used with the uh, T300 or the TX base. These paddles do only work with this wheel. It has to be the Thrustmaster Ferrari F1 wheel. Um, they simply, that's our easiest product to attach, in fact. They just stick to the back of the base, or the back of the wheel, I should say, with two-sided tape, and then they connect to your Thrustmaster base. Uh, so here's a set right here that's not installed at the moment. Uh, they come with the two-sided tape. You just simply pull those back and attach. I'll go over that in a little bit. A um, couple features. Uh, actually, they're pretty simple. Really, you get an analog gas paddle, and you get an analog brake paddle. Uh, along with the brake, you get what we call a, um, a resistance rubber or brake rubber. And this is something that just adds, if you can see it there, it just adds a little resistance to the brake paddle. And it's also adjustable. So if you want more, you can turn this in. If you want less, you can turn it back. And you can put it at a point where the brake is super soft, then get stiff, or you can turn it in just to add general stiffness to the brake. Everybody I've talked to really likes that feature. It uh, helps them with the braking quite a bit. Um, along with that, there's not much else to them. Uh, they do have the cable, can be replaced. Uh, it's got a connector here, so if it does get eaten by the dog or caught up in the wheel somehow, that is replaceable. And so let me go ahead and uh, let me describe how these actually work. The idea behind all of our products for the Thrustmaster is when you plug them into the Thrustmaster base, they emulate the Thrustmaster pedals. It's really quite easy. It's just a basic potentiometer. Um, these actually don't use a potentiometer. Instead, they use a Hall Effect sensor that acts like a potentiometer. With the Hall Effect sensor, you don't have to worry about the pot wearing out or getting dirty or anything like that. Uh, there's no moving parts on the sensor itself. It's a, a magnet and a Hall Effect sensor. So what we do is uh, to use these, we, we plug them into what we call a connector box. And all this does is stick to the side of the base. It just gives you a place. So if you have, let's say, a round wheel or different wheels, you can easily remove the wheel from the base. So it plugs into the connector box the other end, plugs in to the back of the base um, where the foot pedals go. And so essentially, your Thrustmaster base, your TX or T300 base, just thinks you have foot pedals plugged in. So it will work with the consoles, so uh, the T300 works on the PlayStation consoles and PC, and then the TX on the, uh, the Xbox consoles and PC. And um, that is pretty much it. They're very simple, easy to install. Uh, so what I'll do next is I'll go over, uh, see what you get with the paddles, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and install one. Okay, first let's go over what you're going to get with your F1 paddles. Get instructions. Uh, you're going to get a package with a couple connector cables, uh, some Allen wrenches, and a couple extra, uh, we call them brake rubbers. You're going to get a connector box. Uh, this is the standard connector box uh, that comes with most paddles. It does not have the extra clutch shunt. We do have a couple connector box options. Uh, we also make a connector box that has what we call a clutch shunt. And what that is, is you can add uh, a handbrake or a ability clutch when it's available. Uh, we'll just plug into the back of the connector box, and that's something that would normally mount on a uh, H pattern shifter or something like that. Not real practical with the paddles, so we don't ship them with that. Plus, too, this could get, come out and get lost. Or if you have children, they could take it. Um, but because we have the clutch port on here, you have to put something in there to shunt out the clutch so that uh, the game thinks the clutch is off. Um, so that, uh, that is that connector box. Uh, we also have a switch box. This particular unit, uh, you can what it is, is you connect your hand controls to one part of it, uh, your stock pedals to the other part, and you can switch between the two. You have to turn the base off, switch, and then turn it back on. But this is uh, ideal if you're in a household or some place where you share hand controls and regular foot pedals. This makes it easy to switch. You don't have to uh, switch the plug on the back of the base. Anyway, so you will get the uh, stock, uh, the connector box for paddles. 
And of course you're going to get the F1 paddles. Okay, before I do an installation, uh, one of the questions I get is, uh, how do I take them off if I want them off later? Uh, so the two-sided tape that we use to put these on, it's a 3M tape. It's kind of the middle of their line. It's not the super duper strong. It's the, the middle of the line tape and it comes off very nicely. It's actually made to hold molding on the side of cars. Uh, so it's, it's easy to work with. It also, by the way, you could actually take these off and put them back on probably two or three times using the same tape. Uh, so if you have to do that, it works well. So in order to take a set off, by the way, this, these have been on here for a little while. Um, you can see I am not, these are not going to fall off the wheel. I don't think I can pull these off if I, if I could. If I pulled really hard, I could do it. Uh, but what I recommend is just taking a screwdriver, very gently get underneath, give it a little twist. And once you get started, you can go ahead and just pull them the rest of the way off. And in this case, you can see the tape came off with the paddles. Uh, very, very little cleanup work to do if you want to take the tape off the paddles. Uh, just give it a roll. It's not like that white stuff, some of the other two-sided tape you've used that leaves residue all over the place. Uh, this comes off very, very easily. Anyways, um, so that's how the two-sided tape works with these. This is actually a special wheel we use for testing. It's got an internal cord in case you're wondering about that. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and install a new set now. Okay, before you install these, you're just going to want to make sure the back side of your wheel is relatively clean. Take a little rubbing alcohol or a uh, glass cleaner or something like that. As long as you don't have oily fingerprints all over it, it's probably be just fine. If it's a new unit out of the box, it's probably plenty clean to install these. Uh, the next thing I want to point out is for the alignment, there's actually two pins on the, uh, the F1 paddles and there's two holes on the wheel rim. Those pins just drop right in to this hole so it makes the placement easy. You don't have to worry about them getting rotated. You know exactly where they're going to go once you stick them on. Um, so probably the hardest part is actually getting the two-sided tape off. Anybody with good fingernails will have good luck removing this. I a lot of times have to get a knife blade there we go. Okay, and there's two. All right, and it's just simply a matter of lining those pins up, drop it down, give it just a little bit of pressure. And then if you can give it just a little twist and push down, um, that should seat it. It actually gets stronger uh, as it sits on there after an hour or two. But even right now, they're, they're not going to fall off on you. Um, but anyways, that's, that's, that's it for the physical install. You literally just stick them on the back. Uh, that adjuster I talked about before, by the way, uh, the brake rubber adjuster is accessible through here. So you can adjust this while driving. Not, not real easy, um, but once you learn where it is, I can get my fingers in there and I can tweak this. It's not something you're going to adjust a lot, but it is accessible. Uh, while you're driving. And so the, the only thing left is to plug it in. So what we're going to do, we'll take our connector box and get the two sided tape off of this. This is assuming that you have the little mini connector box. If you have the switch box, then you'll just set that, like we talked about earlier, you'll just set that on the desk wherever you want to put it. Now this it's generally designed to mount to the side of the base. Uh, you could mount it to your rig, wherever. Uh, the only thing to keep in mind when you're mounting the connector box is that when you get the cable plugged in, you don't want the cable sticking out so far that it could get hit by your hand or uh, somebody could bump it and damage it. So I recommend uh, setting the connector box back just a little bit. I generally set it as low. Whoop, we can go back a little farther than that even. Something like that. And same deal, just press it on, and uh, it gets a little stronger with age, but even still, now, I can, I can pick up the base. It's good tape. 
Um, so once we have that installed, the last thing to do is take our cable that goes between our connector box and the base, plug that in, and then we just plug that into where the foot pedals go. There's <laughs> cable in there already. Alright, so we just plug that in, the little plastic clip goes down, and we want to be sure we hear it clip in. If you don't hear it clip in, it's not good. Uh, this is a somewhat problematic uh, connector, so if you're having problems, make sure that that is clipped in. If you do go to remove it, maybe to plug foot pedals in, please be sure you push the clip up to take it out. Uh, if you start tugging on that, um, this, this is definitely the weakest unit. Uh, we try not to break that. Um, but that's it. Once you're plugged in, uh, go ahead and turn your wheel on and it'll show up. The hand controls will show up as regular foot pedals and you're off to the races. So that's it for our uh, F1 paddles for the Thrustmaster wheel. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. And thanks for watching.